Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ala. Today I thought I would do something kind of different and fun. I wanted to compare the e.l.f. lip oil that has been viral recently, but probably not anymore, and the Dior Addict lip glow oil. So these two lip oils that are kind of in competition with each other. This is the $8 one and this is the $40 lip oil. And I just wanted to compare and contrast and see what all the hype is about and if one over the other makes a difference, which one is worth picking up and which one is not. I wanted to do that later. In the meantime, I was going to do my makeup before then. We can kind of chat and do some more makeup looks. No matter what, I kind of wanted to include a makeup tutorial if that's okay. Just starting off with the Ara Perez Oat Milk Foundation. I had already used moisturizer earlier, so I wasn't going to go in with anything else more moisturizing over that. I picked the Plum Berry shade. I thought that would be like a fun color to compare the two lip oils to each other because the other colors are really pretty but they're kind of hard to see the difference in color between each other if you're picking like a super light pink or a light peach or, or a clear. So I kind of picked a color that I felt like would be the most visible on camera but one that's not also that's not not flattering that mahogany look the jam berry look is really pretty concealer i'm just gonna go in with this air perez concealer i'm just keeping the base kind of light nothing too heavy for this makeup session Tapping it in. I'm just finishing up this process powder. I'm just gonna set my face, even though I will go in in just a moment with a cream bronzer. There's a few little hairs coming out of this brush. This is the Morphe brush. I wanted to use the Rose Ink cream bronzer today. Just use the same the same foundation brush that I used. This is a really nice formula. I really like Rose Inc's products. I mean especially like her lipsticks. I, I haven't really had a chance to try a, a whole lot of her products but so far Everything I've tried, I really like how it blends, how it's buildable. It's not too too pigmented like right from the start. Definitely fair skin friendly. That's a nice bronzer, and I I really love this the scent in all her products. She says that there's like a rose scent mixed in with something else and you can definitely smell the rose in there which i i really love i am using a patrick ta blush but it's one of his monochromatic ones it's in she's seductive it's using a little wet and wild brush This blush is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, I don't know why the monochromatic blushes of his have been discontinued, but this color is so nice. It doesn't look very impressive in the pan, but it's like a mauve brown. And that's why I like it is it sits on the face, not as vibrant as other blushes. And because it has kind of that brown look, then it's a little, it's a little more subtle. 
and I, I really like these subtle type of colors. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this powder just to kind of blend things together. For my brows, I will use this Nature Republic brow pencil. Looks, I like brow pencils because the tool and the product is all in one stick and you're out the door. It's the fastest thing. It looks nice. I just kind of draw it in and then brush it out and then it just kind of looks really nice and and put together and quick. For eyeshadow, I'm just gonna pick a color out of here to go with the berry toned lips. So I'm just gonna pick one of those. I might just stick to one like wash of color, which is this one of the, the berry colors. It's kind of like a really pretty raspberry. So I'm not adding anything in like the crease. It's just gonna be a standalone color. gonna add a little bit of that champagne-y sparkle in the inner corner there. Kind of ties the whole look together and I'll use the darkest brown shade as eyeliner. Just a, a little short line and I'm using this BK Beauty liner brush. There, just a little something at the top of the lid. And lastly, I will use this Clinique Mascara. That's kind of the simple and quick makeup look that I'm gonna go with today. And now moving on to the lip oils. The lip liner I'm going to work with today is Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk Medium. Because it is a Your Lips, it's like a close, it's a mauve, it will blend in to a natural lip shade. This will be the base to both of the lip oils. So I'll put that on and then I will compare the colors. This just creates a contour, the contour that I want to uh, my lip color. And I will start with this e.l.f. Reviver. And this is in Jam Session. I'll swatch both of them for you. This is Elf Jam Session. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil in Mahogany. These are the two side by side. They look pretty similar, I'd say. Pretty similar in their little jars. This is the mahogany. I can tell that this one is a little bit more sheer. So yeah, it's hard to it's hard to swatch that one on the arm, that's for sure. This one has more of a purpley undertone. 
a little bit more of a cool tone and then this one's a little bit warmer and i'll start with applying the elf lip oil The e.l.f. Reviver Lip Oil, what it says about it is that it nourishes and hydrates your lips while enhancing your pout's natural glow. It's non-sticky. It definitely feels, I'd say like a traditional lip gloss is what it feels like. I mean, it's it, it every lip gloss, everything that's liquidy is going to be sticky. I don't know why they would say that. If I stuck my hair to it, it's going to stick to it. So yeah, it's it's a it's a lip gloss. It's going to stick your hair to it. So that part, not really believing the non-sticky part, but it says that it's a sheer tint of color, which is true, and it has that mauvey. This particular one has a really beautiful mauvey undertone that is so pretty. And it smells just slightly, slightly minty. Now in the ingredients, I'm not familiar with any of the scientific ingredients whatsoever but just the ones that like they say what it is I'll I'll just mention it it says there's some squalane in there apricot kernel oil avocado oil jojoba seed oil um what was some other ones and then in this particular in the elf one did I see any it says fragrance, perfume. So there is some kind of fragrance in here. And so I'm not sure if, you know, if some people are allergic to whatever's in the fragrance, it says that it is in here. Moving on to the Dior lip oil. The Dior lip oil, here's the swatch down here. It's also supposed to be maybe in the cool tone family, but it's a little bit warmer. This has a little bit more of that purple undertone. This one, maybe less so, maybe towards the berry toned, less grapey. Let's just put, try it on. Yeah, so it definitely has more of a rosy tone. You can see right away that it brightened up the lips more so than the more purple undertone there, the cool toned. This one is a thicker formula, definitely feels thicker. So let me see what it says about it. The Lip Glow Oil in Mahogany says that it's nourishing, it protects, enhances the lips, brings out the natural color, sure. And then just jumping down to the ingredients. So the fragrance, the perfume is a little bit higher on the list with this one. There is a fragrance. I mean, it's slightly minty as well. I mean, they're kind of similar in scent, which is interesting. Um, but this one has sweet cherry seed oil out of every, and then it has just a bunch of different, like half the ingredients list is like colors mixed in there. So, I mean, if anything, the elf one has a lot more nourishing ingredients, which is really nice. But yeah, there's not really anything else that is standing out. The lip oil has maybe a slight a small percentage of like a tingle to it but just very very slight and um, but they both feel really nice but this one I can obviously tell that it's quite a bit thicker on the lip so honestly I wouldn't even call this a lip oil it's just a gloss it's like lip oil I'd say that the merit one the way that it kind of glides on like oil this one's more oily than than these products. These are like typical lip glosses and um, the applicators, the doe foot is pretty similar. 
like it's that jumbo. I, I don't prefer this. I don't know why they use this giant doe foot applicator. It just takes up half the tube. So basically uh, it feels to me like you're kind of getting ripped off with the amount of product that's in there because the applicator is so chunky in there. But I'd say that they're both pretty nice. They both smell nice. It's a subtle scent, nothing off-putting. It's really pretty. They both look really beautiful and healthy on the lips. I love that this one's cooler in tone. I would use this. I will I will be using this all the time. And then this glow oil is also really pretty. It just kind of gives a little bit of that rosier, the rosiness to your lips. So really, let's see if there's anything on the package that stands out here. So basically it just says cherry oil infused for the Dior lip oil. And then um, the e.l.f. one has, it's infused with apricot oil. So they're both infused with some kind of fruit and they both feel really nice. So really you can't go wrong with, I hope that that kind of helps with differentiating the difference between e.l.f. and Dior in this case. They seem pretty similar. I know that there are some products that they, some products are maybe not as comparable, but with lip glosses, lip products, they're, they're pretty close and they're both hydrating, I would say, like your lips don't feel dry after them. And this isn't exactly a wear test, I'm just doing kind of a quick video. So I'm not sure how long they stay sticky and glossy on your lips but they're both really glossy and really pretty and you can go with either one depending on your budget. They're both flattering and wear nicely. I really would go with, with either of them. So I hope that kind of helps and I hope it's interesting just to see like the brand, different brands price points and whether something is dupable or not. And uh, Please let me know what you guys think and I'd love to do more of these in the future if, if it really helps. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!